Eurovision fam. Are you ready for the show? <laughs> Hey Eurovision fam, it's Alicia Michelle. I'm so excited and honored today because I've got my first Serbian artist for, you know, the, the, like the Serbian national selection. So I'm very, very excited. And so I, I gotta ask you, like as a child, did you like dream that you would be here? Like, did you like sing as a kid? I actually visualized myself winning the Eurovision as a kid. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> so I love that. So do you remember your first ever like live performance? Now, it might have just been, you know, in a living room. But can you remember like the first time you ever really like performed and you're like, oh, OK, I think I could do this. Yes, actually, it was in my high school. Uh, we were performing uh, together with my friends. Uh, we were singing some uh, Serbian rock cover songs and I really felt like I was born for, uh, to do that because I enjoyed the adrenaline and all the energy that, that came up. So uh, since then, I never stopped playing and singing. <laughs> so this has been a long time thing for you. What kind of music did you listen to growing up? I actually uh, used to listen to a lot of different uh, genres, uh, starting from uh, pop music, rock music, folk kind of folk traditional music um, so a lot of uh, different uh, different music I also had uh, phases in my life where I used to, to listen even to gospel music as well so uh, all of different uh, different styles of music music in, in in general you know I like the emotion if I like the emotion I like the genre as well yeah, I mean, I think that's one of the things that's so amazing about Eurovision is you can really hear a myriad of genres like in the mix. You can get some stuff that feels more traditional, more ethnic, some stuff that's poppy and you can get a little bit of rock. So it's like a little bit of everything. Um, I, I want to know. So do you have like a first memory of Eurovision uh, or a performance that kind of sticks out in your mind that you're like, oh, yeah. Well, there is a performance by a Norwegian guy, Alexander Ibak, uh, that I remember as a starting point for me to s visualize Eurovision in my head. And um, ever since uh, that uh, performance, I never stopped thinking and imagining it, you know, uh, even though I was not into music at, at, at the point. But there was something that I liked about it. It was probably the energy, the stage, the, the lightning, the, the people, the crowd, the noise, everything, the adrenaline, you know, the, the hype that, that's uh, that's in it, you know. So, um, yeah, I, I'm going to go with the uh, Alexander Ibuk fairy tale. Okay. So now I, I need a little bit of help because I, yeah. obviously being an American Eurovision fan, I, I don't know how to speak Serbian at all or anything. So can you pronounce the national selection for me? Like, how do y'all say it? Pesma za Eurovisiju. Okay. Okay. We're good. Pesma za Eurovisiju, da. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going to work on that. Please, please try and repeat it after me. Pesma okay. za Eurovisiju. Pesma za Eurovisiju. Eurovisiju. Oh my God, come on. You, you're gonna Eurovision. Be... Perfect. <laughs> You're going to be was, a Serbian. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm already sweating just having to repeat that back. So, and we're going to get back to some, some language, but you, like, I will just say, I am loving the national selection this year. That playlist mm -hmm. for me, the songs are available in the United States. I've been jamming in my car to several of the songs. Now I have to ask, because I've noticed this was in just the years of covering Eurovision, some music scenes are pretty small and folks know each other. So are you familiar with any of the folks that are competing in the national selection this year? Uh, well, there are some, there are a couple of people that I know from before, and there are a lot of names that I know from Instagram and from the online scene, let, let me call it so, because there are a lot of uh, singers that uh, never got a chance to perform live uh, so many times that I could have a chance to meet them, you know. So there is a, a performer called Gypsy uh, that I liked before uh, Eurovision uh, selection, and I even uh, did a cover of his song. Uh, not for the Eurovision, but one before, you know. So I think that uh, supporting each other is very important. And uh, even though uh, the scene uh, is small or big, you know, I think that uh, there should be a wave 
of uh, performance that we should all uh, swim on, you know. So I think uh, this national selection is very good because there are not a lot of famous people, but uh, it's going to be definitely a chance to make a new scene in Serbia. Oh, that sounds great. And I'm excited for it because I do think Serbia, y'all got a little bit of momentum, you know, coming top five last year at Eurovision. Yeah. So, you know, people and, and I will just say I have gone on record and said that I feel like Serbia is going to be winning Eurovision soon. I just I feel it in the water, a win. It, it's coming. It's coming. But this is a question I ask everybody and and i ask for everyone's respective national selection and so the question basically is if you could take one of the other songs you know that you're competing against right now and remix it and put your spin on it whose song would you remix cover do your own spin of well it's definitely gypsy the the guy i told you about because i really like the vibe uh um, there are certain parts that I would maybe change in terms of Eurovision song contest and the arrangement and stuff, but that's my sample. It's uh, definitely not the, the true and the only answer. You know, the, he he gave uh, what he thinks is the best, and I like that. So I would definitely pick uh, Gypsy. Okay. All right. So you're already in the mix. Have you already started like your rehearsals? Do you have ideas for how you want to bring the song to life on the stage? I know you can't tell us everything, but what can you say? Well, today was the first day um, <clears throat> for the rehearsal rehearsals, you know, so <laughs> it uh, the, the adrenaline started. So um, about my performance, I cannot uh, tell you a lot of things. There are people working uh, with me who are famous in the world scene so there is a girl uh, who's dancing with me called Petra Hajduk she's uh, recording a um, movie with Ariana Grande right now in London uh, she's working on Wicked um, and she used to do dances with um, uh, Sam Smith uh, with Robbie Williams Adam Lambert and so on um, and the guy who is making the choreography, he used to dance with Whitney Houston and she, he actually did some uh, choreography for Lady Gaga. And uh, we have a good team, but uh, it doesn't uh, mean anything uh, until we are satisfied with, with, uh, with the performance. You know? So you never know until the end. Okay, well, I'm, I'm loving what I'm hearing. It seems like you're really thinking about it and that's all that matters. That's one of the things about Eurovision. It's 50% the song. But I think a big chunk of it is how you decide to bring it to life. Now, I want to shift gears a little bit and zoom out. Now, I'm sure because you're rehearsing and everything, your song is playing on a loop in your head. But is there any other songs like out there that you're like listening to? Any artists that you're just like, ooh, hmm. I'm just like playing this person's album on a loop? Yeah. <sighs> um there are a couple of albums that i'm listening to right now um three totally different different genres uh one is by uh, tv corporation <laughs> uh, so i'm not singing to it uh there is uh column scott and there is uh pearl jam so uh depending on uh, my mood i i sing and listen different kind of stuff you know so um what i sing most right now is uh, a song uh which is actually performed originally by Rihanna, um, but uh, Calum, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's not Calum Scott, uh, it's, um, oh my God, I cannot remember the, the name of the guy I'm listening to a whole day. Uh, he, he did a cover of uh, Rihanna's song, uh, Please Don't Stop the Music. So I, I hope the listeners will forgive me for not remembering his name right now, uh, you know? <laughs> but uh, yeah. No worries, no worries. Okay, so, like we said before, I'm an American Eurovision fan and I'm I'm loving the Serbian tracks, but you know, not a whole bunch of them in English, you know, not a whole lot for me to work with language wise. Mm -hmm. And that's okay because this is gonna give me an opportunity to learn a little bit. So I, I, I was wondering if maybe you could try and like teach myself and the people who are watching this a little bit of the hook of your song. And we're gonna go slow with this, okay? We're gonna we're gonna go slow. Sure. Sure. Are you going to repeat after me? You say it, and then we can go. Sl so maybe say it first, and then we can take it like line by line and, and see, or maybe like three words by three words and see, see I'm where I'm already I enjoying this. <laughs> A 
Окей, okay, сол. So, не затварай прозоре. Не oh. затварай прозоре. Не затравай прозоре. Окей, okay, let's let I'm going to take it. <laughs> да те видим. Да те видим. Са истока. Са истока. Свете мой. Свете мой. Ей, ха, биби. 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 Ей, Откри лице свое. Откри ли... What's the last one? Откри лице свое. Окре лице свое. Oh my god, the Serbians are going to fall in love with you. <laughs> this, is, this is gonna be a tough one for you if you come ever to Belgrade. <laughs> I, I'm working on it. I'm working on it because yeah. I, I got to perfect my Serbian because I'm telling you, Serbia is going to win Eurovision soon. And, and when I'm walking around, I, I don't want to be, you know, completely in the dark. I want to be able to say a couple of things. I, I got to, right? Well, uh, I hope that Serbia is going to win Eurovision soon. It, it's been a while since Maria Sharifovic took uh, first place with Molitva. So, um, you know, last year we all... Uh, hope that uh, Konstraka is going to make that uh, winning move and she had a banger, you know, so um, we're definitely moving forwards, you know, you never know what's going to happen. I think it's lottery uh, to win on Eurovision and to win on the national selection, first of all, and then to, to be that much uh, of a lucky guy, you know, to win the Eurovision. What would you say that your like big break was being on The Voice or prior to that? Well, my biggest break was on The Voice, but it was not in Serbia, it was in Bulgaria. So um, I got an uh, invitation from uh, the scout of The, the Voice uh, because before that, <clears throat> during Corona, I won a couple of festivals in Bulgaria um, because everything went on online during uh, Corona. So um, besides uh, festivals in Bulgaria, I took um, part in festivals in Malta, Spain, Italy, uh, I even competed in Kazakhstan. So uh, <laughs> uh, it's, um, and in, um, yeah, so definitely The Voice is the, the competition that uh, gave me uh, the biggest uh, space in media in Serbia. And um, this is my biggest project so far, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm like a child, actually. <laughs> Well, no, we love the excitement because, I mean, this is a huge deal. And whether you win or not, you've already won, mostly because exactly. you're talking to me right now. No, I'm kidding. Exactly. Uh, no, just well, to be competing. You're not lying. Come on, you're not lying. <laughs> <laughs> we both know it. <laughs> it my big, you, know, you know how uh, big pleasure it was uh, uh, for me to, uh, to have this situation in my life, you know. So I'm really grateful that you show, uh, showed me. Um, Sorry, I'm thinking in Norwegian because I'm teaching in Norwegian as well. So sometimes oh, wow. the Norwegian words come first in my head. <laughs> oh, wow. See, all of this. Okay. Yes. No. And thank you so much for making the time. Before we close out, any advice you have for like young performers out there that maybe want to throw their hat in the ring and represent their country one day at Eurovision? I just think that you should be brave enough to admit to yourself what is the thing that you love doing and then just be persistent and trust yourself until the end because it's just a matter of time when it's going to happen. It's going to happen. You just have to keep going. Thank you so much for making the time for this interview and best of luck. Break a leg on the stage. You got people rooting for you. So we're, we're so curious much. to see it. I really enjoyed this and I'm sending a big hug and uh, love from Belgrade, Serbia. <laughs> You're welcome here anytime. Thank you.